information. But actually, the vast majority of data we create when we do analysis is created uh, at the school, individual school, and ultimately at the individual classroom level. And the standards by which data is created in those environments is completely and utterly inconsistent across the board. Teachers make a lot of individual decisions around the data they need to support a child in a particular situation. Um, but, but how that gets managed and what you ultimately do with it could easily become something much bigger. And that's actually something we're actively exploring right now, this unstructured data, which we believe is upwards of 90% of the data we hold on individuals. Um, that unstructured data may be using certain, uh, I'm going back to AI capabilities here, but using some of those emerging tool sets to start to analyze it in novel ways could result in some insights we've never had before that could hugely be powerful for our system. I, 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 I'll give you a very simple example. Uh, the process of determining whether a child has a learning disability right now is a multi-year, hugely expensive, and um, you know I would say largely inaccurate process in a lot of ways. And the result of that is kids may go years without getting the level of support that you know they really need given the way that their brain works. But it, as human beings, it takes us that long to figure it out. Um, I actually think AI has the ability to change that. If 